Hello everyone, today I will be talking about stammering or stuttering in children. This is a very common speech fluency disorder seen in many children. This usually develops between 2 to 5 years of age when children are learning to speak. So in this there may be uh, interruptions in the speech, the child may be stuck on a word, there may be pauses, for example some children may say la 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 lost, some children may just prolong a word at so like that or they may get stuck on a particular word and they may take unusual pauses. Now many parents once it starts they feel that they will outgrow it. Uh, yes, within four weeks some children do outgrow it but if the problem is persisting more than four weeks then better to consult a pediatrician at least once to know whether it is actual stammering or stuttering or it is just developmental disfluency. What is the difference? Developmental disfluency is also seen between 2 to 5 years of age but that is typically when the child is very excited they will stumble on a word or they will have uh, unusual pauses but that is not a concern but this getting stuck on a words, these interruptions in words have uh, happening frequently then in that case if it persists beyond 4 weeks you should consult a speech therapist. Now why it is important to not wait, you know many parents will feel okay let the child start going to grade 1, grade 2, he or she will improve, no. So like in most cases the earlier you start speech therapy the better will be the outcomes. Uh, stuttering and stammering cannot be 100% cured but with early therapy it will not be noticeable at all. What you can do at home is to talk to the child slowly, encourage the child to talk slowly. You can read books together with, you know, uh, clearly talk, speaking out each word. You can sing songs together, you can recite poetry together. Be careful not to make the child feel embarrassed. You should not talk about it as some sort of disability or a problem. It's just there, you know, you have to um, not make the child feel uncomfortable because nervousness and if the child starts feeling conscious about it, it is going to make it worse. Don't be in a hurry to complete the words for your child. So if the child is saying da -da 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 dog, don't, you know, jump in and correct the child and say, oh dog. Don't do that. That will further bring the child's confidence down and it will not be helpful for the child. Have patience with good speech therapy. These kids do very well. It is important to identify it early and as I said, if in four weeks the child does not show improvement, it is important to go for speech therapy. Later in life, when children go to school, go to higher grades, they may develop lack of confidence, anxiety issues, fear of public speaking. So to identify early and to start therapy early is of utmost importance. It is not that the speech therapist will give your child some medicines or something. They'll just tell you certain ways and you don't have to go for multiple sessions also, just a few sessions and they'll tell you ways to tackle it at home based on the uh, more pressing problem of stammering or stuttering. Where is the child exactly getting stuck which they assess.